Hi everyone and welcome back to Ultimate Tech Hub. On today's episode, we're going to install six PoE cameras from RealLink, as well as a two terabytes of MDR storage. And remember, if you like these videos, give a thumbs up and share it. If you love it, hit subscribe. It's free. With all the issues with Ring doorbells and Nest cameras being hacked over the last couple years, it's no wonder people are looking for a better and safer option. So the option we chose is RealLink. And we chose it for two different reasons. The first is a wired system, it's not wireless. Wired is always better, it's safer, it's secure. And number two, the two terabytes of MVR storage are on site. So before we install these devices, let's take a detailed look at the cameras and the MVR system. Let's go ahead and unbox the system. We purchased the four camera dome system with the two terabyte MVR. We also purchased two additional dome cameras for a total of six cameras. Our total cost was around $400. These RealLink dome cameras are five megapixel and super high definition. And they come with infrared LEDs for superior night vision. This camera does come with a microphone so you can hear audio. This RealLink camera also has motion sensor technology. And also because it's a dome camera, it's virtually weather resistant. The four cameras for this bundle come with extra ethernet cables. However, these ethernet cables are terrible. The cables feel flimsy and they don't feel very durable. <laughs> I would not recommend using these. We chose to use Cat6 riser cable for all of our cameras. Cat6 riser cable is much more durable. Let's take a look at the connections for these cameras. First connection is your PoE data connection. Second connection is the reset button. And the third connection is a power connection if you choose to use a DC power supply. For our installation, we will not be using the power supply. We'll be using PoE, power over ethernet. I would not recommend using a power supply because it makes installation more difficult. This is the mounting bracket for the camera. And these are the anchors and the screws we'll be using to mount it to the wall. Just a heads up, we installed these anchors and screws into stucco and they worked just fine. And these are some wire covers. And this is the installation guide. This will go through the setup process as well as the app for your phone. You simply just plug in the data cable into the jack and then you're ready to go. Remember, I don't recommend this cable. I would use Cat6 riser cable instead. The four camera bundle came with a bunch of anchors and screws and extra wire covers. Now here's the mounting template you're gonna use to install these cameras to the wall. This template makes it very simple to install. Just tape this template to the wall where you're gonna install the camera and drill the four holes. Next, let's go ahead and take a look at the two terabyte NVR system. The first thing I noticed was this is pretty lightweight. It's really nice. Here's the instruction guide and the setup guide. It's pretty thorough, it has a lot of information. And here's an HDMI cable. A network cable, a power supply, and a mouse. Just a heads up, this mouse is pretty bad. For some reason, the left click button doesn't work very well. It's no big deal, I have an extra mouse anyways. The front of the MVR system has left and right, up and down buttons, a menu button, a select button, USB. There's plenty of ventilation for this box as well. Here's the power button and the DC connection. Audio out, USB, a couple of monitor plugins, a data plugin, a SATA connection for an external hard drive, and eight ports for cameras. Okay, let's go ahead and install the six cameras and the MVR system. These are the locations for our six PoE cameras. The two in the front will cover the front door and the garage doors. The two in the back will cover the patio and the backyard. The other two will be on each side of the house. Depending on your abilities to install cameras and wiring, you may need to hire a low voltage expert. Not hard to find, but low voltage they can run the wires through the attics to your MVR box. Our MVR system is in the master bedroom closet. Okay, let's go ahead and start with the wire drops and then we'll do the camera installs. Like I said before, you want to hire a low voltage installer to do these wire drops. What they'll do for you is they will drill the holes in the locations where your cameras will be located. And then they'll run the ethernet cable, the Cat6 riser cable, from the location to the network box location through the attic. This can be a dangerous task to do yourself, so I always recommend to hire a low voltage expert. And pricing for these line drops is about $50 to $75 per drop. While it's not cheap, 
it's definitely worth not falling through the ceiling or hurting yourself or messing something up. So here are the tools you'll need to mount these cameras to the wall. You'll need a drill, various size drill bits. You need a hammer to hammer in the anchors. You'll need tape and tape the template to the wall. You'll need a ladder, probably like a six foot minimum, maybe eight foot ladder. To save money on these line drops, I chose to terminate the ends of these Cat 6 cables. You could have your low voltage expert do that, but he'll charge you more. And because I'm a network engineer, terminating Cat 6 cables is pretty easy. I'm only going to show you how to install two of the six cameras because the process is exactly the same for all six. First, you want to go ahead and tape the template to the location of your camera. Next, you want to drill all four holes. I went with a small drill bit just in case. When drilling, less is best. You can always just go ahead and get a bigger drill bit and drill more out. You want the wall anchor to be snug. Now we'll attach the bracket with the four screws. And of course, I installed the bracket backwards. <laughs> <laughs> so I'll have to remove the bracket and reattach it the right oh. way. <laughs> Now it's the easy part. Place the camera onto the bracket and twist it to the right until it's snug. Then you can adjust the camera and the camera angle. And when you attach this camera, make sure the cord that comes out of the camera is at the top. You don't want that cord hanging below at the bottom. It won't look good and it's not safe. Someone can walk by and pull it out. This is my second camera I installed by the front garage door. I'm not going to go into detail on installing this camera. It's the same as the other one, same process. Just make sure when you choose the location that it's not too high or not too low. So don't be in a hurry to tape that template on the wall and start drilling. If you need to, just place it on the wall and walk away and look at it. Make sure that's the right height. And fortunately, I installed this bracket correctly, not upside down. Once you're done installing all six cameras, push all the excess kibble back into the attic. Then add silicone around the hole where the wire goes through. This will prevent mice, bugs, or birds going into your attic. Next, let's go ahead and check out the network box where the MVR is. These are all six cables from the cameras. These cables will be plugged into the MVR system. But first, I have to terminate all the cables. I'm not going to show you the process of terminating all six of these Cat6 cables, but I do have a video at the top right showing you how to do that. This is the final product. All the cables are connected to the MVR system. All the cameras are connected, and the data line going to the router is connected, which allows you to view the cameras remotely from anywhere in the world. Pretty cool. The connection for our two monitors, our connection for the mouse, the DC power connection. After installing this RioLink camera system, I want to give you my full review of this product. As far as the installation and setup, I would say it was quite easy, and that is because it's a PoE system. One wire per camera, no power supplies to deal with, and I had no issues mounting these cameras to my stucco walls. However, the Bolt Cat 5 cables that came with the 4-pack of cameras are low quality and I would not feel comfortable using these cables. We use Cat 6 riser cable. It's more durable, it's faster, and it's more secure. The video quality is amazing during the day or night. 5 megapixel video is very sharp and crisp. Reallink calls it Super HD. The MVR system was just as easy to set up. The setup wizard is pretty simple and connecting this MVR to the app on your phone is as simple as it gets. You just scan the barcode from the MVR into your phone. As far as value for all six cameras in the 2TB MVR system, I paid a little over $400. And this is pretty much on par with most systems. Except that this is a 5 megapixel system and most others are only 4 megapixel which I consider better value. And for those reasons of quality, ease of setup, and value, I would highly recommend this system. And as you can see, this is kind of a mess. I will have a video showing me mounting this MVR to the wall and cleaning all the wires up. But for now, we're all done here. I want to thank you guys for watching and being a part of the Ultimate Tech Hub. And if you haven't subscribed yet, please do. It's free. Thanks again for watching.